hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be talking about uh, how do you install jenkins on aws so if you have not yet subscribed to our channel consider subscribing to our channel for more such tech related content and my journey in canada so without any further ado let's get started so this is the github repository that you can refer for the steps which i'm going to follow along today and on this uh, repository uh, i have given the details about what all needs to be done in order to install Jenkins on Amazon EC2 machine. So first of all, you need an Amazon account so that you can log in into AWS account. And once you are on the console, you have to go to EC2 or you can search it, type it and search it on the search bar, go to EC2. And once you are on the EC2, you have to create a new instance. So let's create a new instance. It was, it will hardly take uh, five minutes to create a new instance. I have already shown the steps in my previous video. So you can go through that video in which I explain about how to install Docker on AWS EC2 instance. So let's create a new instance. And once we have created a new instance, we'll be installing Jenkins on that particular instance. So what you have to do is you have to click on this button which says launch instances. For the time being, let's keep everything default in order to create our EC2 instance quite fast. So let's call this as Jenkins server. And we are not going to make any changes. We are just going to use the default options that is given to us. And we are going to connect to this EC2 instance via SSH. So first thing is something that we are going to create a new key pair. So let's call it Jenkins key pair. Okay. We'll create this new key pair and then we'll download it. We'll keep it in our local and it will help us in connecting to the uh, EC2 instance from our Windows machine. Then uh, it, it gives two options, create security group or use an existing one. So let's say I create a new security group. So let's say we allow SSH traffic because we are going to use uh, SSH protocol in order to connect to the uh, EC2 instance and rest we are going to keep everything same. Click on launch instance. Now you can see that our instance is in running state. So we will select these boxes and we'll click on connect button that is present over here. Once you click on connect button, these are the tabs that are present. Now go to SSH and over here we have the command through which we can connect from our local uh, Windows machine to the EC2 instance. So we'll copy this particular command SSH minus I and this long command. And then we'll go to uh, the location where we have downloaded our key pair. And from there, from that location, from our Windows machine, we'll open command line and then we'll start working on that particular. Uh, we'll start connecting to the EC2 instance. So in my D downloads folder, in my C drive downloads folder, that is where my key was present. So I went to that particular folder and I, from the command prompt, I opened it. And whatever command we copied over here, we'll paste it um, in this particular uh, line and we'll hit enter. So once we hit enter, we can see that it is asking, are you sure you need to continue connecting? So you can uh, write yes over here in order to make sure that you are being connected. After that, you can see that you are connected to your EC2 instance. You can start uh, running the commands such as, let's check the present working directory. So we are currently in slash home slash EC2 user directory. Now we can start with the installation steps for our Jenkins server. So you can follow along with me. So we'll, we'll copy the commands from here in order to make it quite fast. So the first step is we are going to connect to our EC2 instance via SSH and update the system packages. So for that, we are going to use the command sudo yum update minus y and hit enter. So this will update all the packet manager dependencies that is being present over here. And then the next thing is we are going to add the Jenkins repo. And for that, we are going to use the command you can refer to the commands which are given in my GitHub repository. And I'm going to put that command over here. So this is the command that is being used. And this command, it basically means that uh, we are going to download a Jenkins repository config file and it saves 
uh, this particular file on this particular location slash etc slash yum dot repos dot d and jenkins dot repo is something that is being saved on this particular location so again you will hit enter so that it will start downloading this particular file and once this file is being downloaded the next step is you have to import a key from the jenkins ci to enable installation from the package so that is what you are going to do next so for that we are going to use the command sudo rpm minus minus import so basically it is going to import the key and it, it is going to make sure that it is the correct key so it is going to import it and it is going to put it in our uh, ec2 instance so we once we are done with this uh, we'll hit enter so this command is also executed okay guys so we have done it till here the next thing is we are going to install java since java is required for using jenkins so let's run the command for java so for which we are going to use the command sudo dnf install java minus 11 amazon coreto minus y so that is the command that we are going to run since we are using amazon linux 2023 this will be the command that will be used So you can see that it has started downloading different libraries for our Java installation and that is what is happening. Different dependencies are also getting downloaded. So our Java installation is happening currently. So it is completed. So it hardly took any time to complete the Java installation. So I just wanted to let, uh, let you guys know that we are using sudo command over here because we want to run these commands with a administrative privileges or let's say super user privileges so that is the reason i'm using sudo here with the command so actual command is something that is that falls after sudo so that is required for the installation of the jenkins now let's look into the next thing once we have installed java next what we are going to do is we are going to install jenkins on our uh, ec2 machine so for that we are going to use sudo yum install jenkins minus y uh, that is the standard uh, command that we are going to use so you'll hit enter so it will start downloading your jenkins packages over here and it will start installing jenkins as you can see that it has installed jenkins and in order to verify that the jenkins is installed or not you can use jenkins minus minus version command and you can see that jenkins version 2.387.2 has been installed successfully so once you have installed jenkins you can enable the jenkins service to start at boot so for that we are going to use the command uh, sudo systemctl enable jenkins and we are going to hit enter so once you hit enter you can uh, check that it is printing out that it has created this particular symlink and it is executing this particular command so it has executed that command now you need to start the Jenkins as a service. So you will use this command sudo systemctl start Jenkins. So you can hit enter by typing this particular command sudo systemctl start Jenkins. And now once you hit enter on typing this command, your Jenkins will be started. Now you can check the status of the Jenkins service using the command that is your systemctl status Jenkins. So that is what you can use. So let's press ctrl c in order to get the command line so that we can run other commands as well so let me run the command sudo systemctl status jenkins so and once i hit enter you can see that it will show us the file and in this file uh, you can also see this is the password that is being present which we'll be using once we will log in into our jenkins file sorry once we are log going to log in into our jenkins application so let's start accessing the jenkins and for accessing the jenkins what you have to do is you have to take the ip address of your ec2 instance the public ip address and the jenkins is being hosted on 8080 port so we are going to check on that particular url that whether our jenkins is hosted correctly or not Okay, so now we are going to use this IP, uh, public IP address of our EC2 instance and we are going to use port 8080. Okay, so uh, once I hit enter, you will see that it is not actually 
uh, using this particular port and accessing the Jenkins service. The reason is we have not opened the port. Uh, we have not configured our security group to enable port 8080 to be accessed from outside world. So what we have to do over here is we have to go to our EC2 instance, the one that we just created. And what we have to do is we have to select this particular EC2 instance. Finally, we will go to security and in security, we will go to our uh, security groups. We click on the security groups and we will edit the inbound rules. So we will add a rule, uh, custom TCP, and we are going to enable 8080 on this particular port. And let's say for the time being, when I'm recording this video, I'm going to allow anyone to access this particular port and I'm going to save the rules. So once you save the rules, so now you have configured your security group. Now you can again try hitting this particular link and let's see if we are able to access this particular link or not. So now you can see that we are able to access this particular link. So you have to go and check for the initial admin password either on this particular path that is being mentioned over here or with the command that we used earlier. So we use this command uh, systemctl status Jenkins which tells the status of the Jenkins that whether it is started, whether it is failed what has happened so what has happened to this uh, jenkins service that is what this what we are going to do is we so have here run this command sudo su so that we become the super user and we run all the commands from the root because we want to access the uh, jenkins initial admin password so and what we have done is we are now in the directory that was mentioned in the page that got started over here the jenkins server so we are in this particular directory and we are going to check initial admin password so there is this file initial admin password let's open this particular file so once you open this particular file uh, there is a initial password that is present over here copy this particular initial password and put it in the admin password field click on continue so once okay guys so now we are on this page where we have to put the initial password that we selected and we will click on continue so that password was not correct let me get the correct password and then we'll hit on this particular uh, admin password okay so in the meanwhile i also used so we will copy the password and we will paste the password okay so actually let's right click let's copy and then we'll put the password over here. So that is the correct password that got copied and we'll hit enter. And it will show us this option, install suggested plugins and select plugins to install. So we'll click on install suggested plugins. So it will start installing all the plugins that is required to be installed along with Jenkins, such as Ant, Gradle, GitHub, Git. So all these uh, pipeline, all these Jenkins, so all these, plugins are being installed along with the Jenkins installation so once these plugins are being installed what will happen is we'll also be getting a page to set up the initial username password in order to log into our uh, Jenkins application so this is the page that you will get so it says create first admin user so you can uh, click and create username password let's say test test for the time being Okay, and we'll click on save and continue. Okay, and this is the Jenkins URL it is telling us. Then you will go to save and finish and it says your Jenkins is ready. Then you will click on start using Jenkins. So this is how the Jenkins look on your browser. So we have successfully installed Jenkins on EC2 instance. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and you liked the tech content that we are sharing on this particular channel along with my journey in Canada. So if you like the content, please consider subscribing to our channel and give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye-bye.